everyone, Dr. Leo Plow, it's Healthy Podiatrist. This is one of the worst finger nails I've seen this year. And the patient's laughing right now. But I said I gotta film this out here. Wait till you see this nail. Um, he wasn't able to get in because he's working so much and long hours. And he came in and showed me this nail and said he's been watching our YouTube videos, but watching the videos doesn't make the ingrown nail go away, does it? No, Alexi. It no, doesn't. it doesn't. <laughs> so we're going to take this out. He knows it's really bad. He's a little bit embarrassed. You're not embarrassed by it, right? Yeah. He just doesn't want to be on film. But wait till you see this. Pretty cool. Come on in. Take a look. Alexi, I'll show us what we got. So this is the worst one of 2020. So right now you're number one. There we so go. You can tell everyone at work you're number one. And um, when we get one worse, then we'll have like the oh, we'll, we'll have okay. a little contest. <laughs> and do like like they do on Jeopardy, right? Right. Like the worst, the best, the worst, worst of twenty twenty. <laughs> and then you guys can come in, and then you can compare your toes. There we go. And then we'll line all the toes up <laughs> and, contest and see like which one has the best result of the worst. <laughs> The best result of the worst of 2020. <laughs> so right now you're winning. Which there is we cool. go. This first is time I'm winning at something. I know. We're making light of this situation, but um, basically what we wanted to show is that you don't have to suffer with an ingrown nail like this. This is something that can be taken care of. Um, he's in a different situation where he was working, just couldn't leave work, um, and it got really bad. But he said he's had this before, but it never got this bad, right? Right. 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 Okay. So it was just he dealt with it with just kind of clipping it back. Right. He did. right. Did you ever take antibiotics for him? I did at one point, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So take a look here. I want to show you a couple things here before I wrap it up. So this is what happens when you have a chronic ingrown nail and it gets infected. You get granulation tissue there and you get all types of bacteria in there. Who knows what's growing in there? We're gonna culture it. Um, but the, the skin gets hypertrophied really badly there. And you can see it starts to deform the toe. The great part is this will bounce back. Once we get everything out of there and we get the ingrown nail out of there and we get them on antibiotics, within like three months, it'll look normal, but it'll look really good in a month. And then even better each month as it goes on without anything digging into the side there. So did you see any pus coming out of this? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay, so we saw pus coming out too. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get pus today. If we do, bonus, <laughs> right? Definitely. <laughs> bonus for the video, just because on a big screen, a little bit of pus. Looks, looks like a huge <laughs> volcano erupting. So, all right, let's see what happens here. We're gonna wrap this up. This is the tourniquet. It's a nice pink tourniquet, just so we have uh, there we go. You know, great <laughs> colors. We like the colors on the video. Oh, you know what we've got to put on here? Our little Your scissors. scissors. Grab them out of here. Yeah, we'll get these. And you don't have a tissue nipper. Oh, we don't have, oh yeah, tissue nipper. I definitely need, if you can get a good tissue nipper for me, Alexia. Got a tissue nipper. So someone asked about a tissue yeah, nipper in a previous video, yeah. Your, your proctologist is on the phone. Oh. Tell them um, that I'm okay, I'm sitting right now. <laughs> okay. That was really I knew he was gonna do something. <laughs> what is Todd gonna do? That was Dr. Todd, everybody. Had to come in during the video, so. Um, I wanna show you guys a tissue nipper, by the way. Tissue nipper, I'm gonna show you up close, has a flat end to it right here, and that's so we can, we can cut the tissue like this. We cut it at a downward angle, and I know people have asked about that. That's the difference between a tissue nipper and a nail nipper. This is an English anvil. This is what we cut the nail with, and that's when we cut straight across to cut the ingrown nail out of it. So, okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. Let's all pray for pus. <laughs> here we go. All right, let's see what's in here. So what I'm doing is when I when I mark this toe, I look at the granulation tissue and see where it's kind of cloaked over the edge and it's cloaked over right here. And that's kind of what I use as my border for the demarcation of how far over I want to go. Cause I want to try to give a, a cosmetically decent looking nail. So you can go to the beach, we're here in Florida. You there want it go. to look good, <laughs> right? You got to walk around, show off your toes. So I'm going to kind of go right here and this is where I'm going to free it up. But if you look, it really goes down. I mean, I'm, I'm down and I'm still on the nail. So there's, you'll see, it'll be a pretty significant chunk that comes out. And now I'm freeing this up here. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. See where it cloaks over right here at the edge? And we're gonna do it right there. And that's where we're gonna free up this nail here. 
and Alexi is awesome. She's right in there, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Notice the blood. He has epinephrine. I put epinephrine in the injection, and we did all we could for hemostasis, but even that, even everything we've done to try to keep it from bleeding, it still bleeds because there's so much venous congestion there from all the swelling of the toe, and there's so much thickening and hypertrophy of the skin around the area that with the pressure alone, it causes everything to you know push out and bleed a little bit but it's still better than it would be if I didn't do any of the things like a tourniquet and epinephrine, it would be bleeding a lot. <clears throat> Granulation tissue bleeds a ton. So here's what we're gonna do the worst side first. And what I'm doing is following my mark here slowly. Now the nail can also lift up, even though I'm trying my best not to lift it, this nail plate sometimes will lift up when we do this. So I've got it cut there, which is great. And we're gonna cut the other side since I have the anvil out. And we're gonna go under the same area where I went. So I'm right over at the border. So you can see the nail lifts a little bit there. Nothing I can do about that, but as it grows out, it'll be, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, if the nail plate comes too loose from the infection and the swelling, then we'll take the nail plate off and he'll just grow a new nail, but it'll be a perfectly rectangular shaped nail. Okay, this is the, the money shot right here where we're gonna grab this thing out of here. I'm way in. You got a big chunk, are you looking up there? Does this freak yeah, you out at all? No, no, I'm looking at it. Okay, cool, <laughs> yeah. So this is really cool when you see, I've got a good chunk of this. I'm gonna slowly do it, and we're gonna flip it and turn it. Someone told me this is how Tobro does his. So thanks, Tobro, for the tip. Look at that, that is a gigantic chunk. Can you see what I clipped onto? See where the hemostat is and the rest of that was all under the granulation tissue and under the skin so you can see all of that was under here look at that that was all hiding under there that's a good one crazy yes, that's that was a good nice. one that is very satisfying <laughs> oh, i feel so much better but not 100 percent better yeah i know i'm sure you feel great up there same thing over here we're clipping okay and i'm going to turn slowly turn this thing and this is coming out real well here. There we go, wow. Look at that. I am unbelievably amazed. And I see this all the time. That's the good part of my job, <laughs> is that I get these little perks of getting to watch ingrown nails pulled out every single day. Um, where I could be just going to a desk job and staring at a computer all day, but nope, there I get to do this. Okay, living the we're, dream. Yeah, living the dream. <laughs> living the ingrown nail dream. Yep. Which is very cool. So we're going to start with this. This is the easy side right here. And all I'm doing is kind of pulling this off. But it will be easier with a tissue nipper. Okay, so let's get this nipped out of here. Okay. So that's how. Now, this side here, this is going to bleed a bit. So we're going to clean this out first. And then we'll put our chemical in, but let me just make sure this is, this side's good here first. That looks nice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, and we can always come back and clean it up after we put the chemical there. Put one more little piece, there we go. This is the side that's a mess here. So how do you know how much to take? Well, I can see right here, this is a mess here. This is all bad. So we're gonna start with this stuff here on the side. This you might not wanna watch up there. I don't know if this freaks you out a little bit. Um, that's some of the granulation tissue. Um, we're going to have to get some of this, the good skin here. And I'm going to mark it. I'm going to go right with this marking right here. You can see where it's right in this area here where it's been. Um, it almost demarcated itself. But this all has to come out. Look at that. All that tissue right there. That is amazing. And we need another 4x4. Four four. We're going to go through lots of 4x4s. Four so... But the great part is we have that epi in there and the epi is gonna help um, with the hemostasis so it doesn't bleed a lot. I'm gonna start distally here again and we're gonna work our way forward. This is all granulation. See how when I, it looks messy and meaty, like obviously toe meat, one of our other favorite words here on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of toe meat in there, but when you take the, the actual, the meat, the beef out and get down to the, the um, the base where the um, the base of the tissue is, you, it actually demarcates itself, and you can see it's actually clean and it's smooth at the base. When I, once I get to a a level where the tissue is good, all that other stuff is bad tissue, and that's tissue that your body put down um, from the infection. 
So you can see, look at how clean it is. Are you getting a close-up of that, Alexia? Oh, Let yeah. me dry that off of there, too. I'm going to dry it out so you guys can see it really well. But, I mean, it's really cool to see. And that's that's what it looks like. I'm going to get closer, closer I think. <laughs> I can, yeah, wait, hold on here. Let's see. We'll get extreme, extreme toe meat close-up. We do call it toe meat, actually. See that stuff coming out? And I know people say, how do you know how far to go? Well, I can feel it. I'm actually... I'm on the base, so I have this tissue nip, and I'm on the base of where that, all that toe meat is, and it, and I'm I'm really good at this, and I like to eat steak on the weekend, so <laughs> I'm also good at getting, you know, taking the, the the meat off of the bone when I go out for steak. <laughs> Not that this is similar, but I think when you do this for so long, it starts to blend and toe meat and steak, and porterhouse steaks, it's all the same, it's all the same. Yeah. same thing, right? <laughs> ribeye, bone-in ribeye. This is kind of like a bone-in ribeye, um, and the bone is actually the base of the toe. Uh, if that's really a comparison, but I don't think it is. This is actually going to be a disgusting conversation here. Okay, so now we're going to cauterize even more with our chemical. So I'm back here, and we're going to try to cauterize it. What I worry about here is the bleeding, and it is going to bleed somewhat. So we're gonna, we may have to do an extra stick here. Um, and what I'm doing here is just, I'm gonna put this in to start with, but this will cauterize as I go. Um, and I may need more sticks. You got some, yeah, do you have the bigger ones? Yeah, that's great. Um, we don't. Yeah, this is good. No, that's okay. okay. These are fine, yeah. We'll use these. Okay, so we did one stick sort of counts. I'd call that a half a stick almost. This is gonna be number two. Oh, you know what else I might need, Alexia? Oh, yeah. stick into that. Everyone hates it when the gauze sticks. Silver nitrate. Because okay. I'm going to have to cauterize that in a minute. So, oh, this. Um, yeah. I, I, oh, perfect. Oh, there the we patient. go. Okay. Does it stop when you were holding on to it? I, I, I guess. Yeah, I didn't see it. Okay. Now we have to punish the patient. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We're going to make this hurt a lot. There we go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, we'll probably edit this. We're going to edit this in because this, is, this one's an actual great video. So, um, the recording went off, we're not sure when, but what, what we did was we took all that toe meat out of there and we're doing our sticks. This is number two of three, and then we're gonna go to our third stick here. Um, and don't feel bad about that, by the way. <laughs> well, I mean, I could just get the other one affected. Yeah, yeah cool, oh, yeah. Yeah. yes, let's do that. Let's have a good yes. Uh, we want you walking around and, and <laughs> start kicking a couple of things here and there so we can get a good video, but no, they, uh, the video will be great, so. Um, anyway, you can see it's still bleeding quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is actually take my silver nitrate stick. We're gonna cauterize a little right now and then we can come back to it. Now the silver nitrate, when you put it on um, tissue like this, on the, on the toe mate, and this is on a serious level here, um, it does burn somewhat. Mm -hmm. So it'll be sore afterwards. You might have to put ice on it, take three Advil three times a day because you'll get an inflammatory response. Okay. It'll just like throb a little bit, put okay. ice in, three Advil three times a day, and two extra strength Tylenol in between mm -hmm. twice a day. Get like the six hour or eight hour really? extra strength Tylenol will be great. But you can see, look how well that cauterizes that. Yeah. Um, and we need to do that because I need a dry field. Mm -hmm. It has to be dry around that area when I'm um, putting the chemical in here so the chemical will take because you do not want to get another in nail. No. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna do that here too. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this here before I start cauterizing. And now we'll do this side. But again, normally this procedure, you saw other videos before, it doesn't take this that long to do, but yours is pretty extensive. So, um, you know, that's why it's taking a little bit longer, but we're gonna make sure you don't get another ingrown nail again. This'll be a great one for a follow-up. So if you let us do a follow-up video, yeah. like after four to six weeks, sure. this'll be great. People will love to see what actually right. happens to it and how it turns out. So we can give this like a special name that way they'll know what to look for. We'll have to come up with something really witty. I have to sit and think. Maybe it'll come to me in a dream when I'm uh -oh. dreaming about because I dream about ingrown nails every <laughs> single night and other procedures. I dream about feet every night, so something will come to me in a dream. A really cool name for this video, and we'll give your toe a name. <laughs> what would be a cool name? I can't think of anything offhand. That one's still bleeding there. And this is the third stick here. This one we don't have to worry because I've done, this is three sticks. This one was relatively little bleeding. Um, so the th this three sticks should be no problem over here. I'm gonna do another stick on this other one 
and I'm gonna throw a little bit more of that silver nitrate there to cauterize because there was so much granulation tissue, AKA toe meat on the side of that one that we're gonna be real sure that that chemical takes because um, we don't want it diluted by the blood that's coming out of there. So, all right, let's get a little bit more of this. I'll use the same stick here. We'll put a little more silver nitrate there. The great thing is that silver nitrate also will kind of reduce that that toe meat and the granulation tissue too. To a, it'll it'll make it the swelling go down eventually, and then this will move over like that. So, all right, let's do this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean this off a little. Let's make it a little nicer here. And then we'll get one more stick here. I may need one more stick, Alexia. Let's see here. We're gonna clean this. Where are you at? Okay, good. Thank you. No problem. Okay, this is our last stick. This is our last sodium hydroxide stick. And I'm right against that nail matrix right here. That's what I'm, what I, now, and it's a lot drier than it was. So we're gonna see if we can get the Yes, that gauze is sticking on everything. Chemical to take here. We want to make sure this takes. And we'll do this about five more seconds. Great. Okay. So you look at it on the surface, you say, wow, look at that. And you see that there's a lot of trauma that was done, but, it, but what's going to happen is you can actually see what the damage it did to that toe. Look at that. So all of that came out. And the great part is when that heals, that's all gonna move over like that and heal in. Mm -hmm. You'll have a normal looking toe. So you'll be able to go to the beach and show there off your go. feet. Show that off my feet. toe. <laughs> show that toe off. But before you could go to the beach and people, maybe, maybe they'll recognize you by your toe. <laughs> you'll see the bandage on there. All right, let's get a little bit more of this. Let's flush this. All right, we're flushing this off now, and that's it. Now we're gonna put, we're gonna make a big bandage here. So what, what I'm gonna do is actually put a lot of this um, cream in here on the side here. So let's get this in here. We're really gonna put stuff in here so this, so he doesn't have a lot of pain with this. And I'm gonna take this and we're gonna unwrap them. This is where the bleeding's gonna start. So you'll, you, you'll, we'll see it. Quite a bit of bleeding possibly afterwards, let's see. But we're gonna cover it beforehand. Not too bad, yeah. so good. So we're gonna cover this. I'm gonna put a big bulky dress in. What kind of shoe do you have there? Uh, there you go. A narrow one. Very so narrow So we can one, give you, we're gonna give you a paper slipper to wear. Okay. Okay, and maybe we can show the paper slipper. Um, and let's go here. We're not gonna do the culture right now. There was so much stuff. I'm gonna actually culture the I have that stuff here. The meat? Yeah, the toe meat. I'm gonna culture some of the toe meat afterwards. So we'll do a little culture of that just to see what comes back. Um, at this point, it's all cleaned out and we can always culture it the next time if we still have an issue with the, after the antibiotic. He's going on an antibiotic anyway. He's allergic to penicillin. So for those of you that are in the medical field, we're putting him on doxycycline, 100 milligrams twice a day. Um, and you can take that if you're allergic to penicillin. Real strong, but it only covers gram-positive bacteria. Gram-positive is usually staph or strep. That's the most common bacteria that we see in the toe. So take a look at this. Look at this. What a mess. We've got toenails here. We have a messy nail. It looks like a crime scene. It's a toe crime scene. But it's out. It's done. That's it. We're all happy. We're all satisfied. What an awesome procedure. Worst toenail. Ingrown toenail, 2020, unreal. Anyway, come back for more awesome videos. Subscribe to the channel, click that button that says Healthy Feet Podiatry, and we'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.